<laughs> I clean up the kitchen, sweetheart, so don't you have to worry about that. He still won't come out of the bathroom. Sweetheart, he's upset. Now Johnny's a sensible man. He will come out. You will discuss that everything is going to be okay. I just think I should be alone with him right now. I understand, sweetheart. I'm going to go home now. Bye-bye. You call me if you need me. I will. Thanks, Mom. Mm -hmm. You can come out now, Johnny. She's gone. In a few minutes, bitch. Who are you calling a bitch? You and your stupid mother. Hi, Mark. I need to talk to you. Don't worry about Johnny. He's just been a big baby. You know I love you very much. I love you. I know. He's not worth it. Why don't I come... Why don't I come up there and be with you? You got it. I'm on my way. Bye. Who are you talking to? Nobody. We'll see about that. Good thing I've been recording everything. I can play this in my bedroom tape player. Ha 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 ha. Uh... Ha. Hello? Yeah, this is how they, Right. What's going on? Don't worry about Johnny's and baby. You know, blah blah blah. Love you. You little tramp! How could you do this to me? I gave you seven years of my life and you betrayed me. Let's see what else we have on this tape. No, stop. You little prick, I put up with you for seven years. You think you're an angel? You're just like everybody. I treat you like a princess and you stab me in the back. I love you and I do anything for you just to please you. And now you betray me. How could you love him? Why don't you ditch this creep? I don't like him anymore. Oh no, he's not worth it. Blah, blah, blah. Come up here, baby. Blah, blah, blah. Everybody betrayed me. I don't have a friend in the world. I'm leaving you, Johnny. Get out, get out, get out of my life. Ah, why? Oh no. Oh, hit Moby Psycho 100. Smash, smash. No. What? I don't get it. I didn't get to smash all the things. Ah. Yeah. 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 What am I doing? Smashing things. I don't know what else I could smash. I want to smash it all. Let's go upstairs, I guess. Smash some more stuff upstairs. Yes, yeah, smash, smash. Smash, 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 smash. And a gun. And we shoot ourselves. Why? Why is this happening to me? Why? It's over. God forgive me. Yep. That's how the movie ends. More or less with the scene. Wake up, Johnny. Come on. Is he dead? My god, Mark, is he dead? Yes, he's dead. Oh my god, I've lost him, but I still have you right, right? You don't have me. You'll never have me. You killed him. Mark, we're free to be together. I love you. I love you. Tramp, you killed him. You're the cur cause of all of this. I don't love you. Get out of my life, you bitch. Hey, what's happening? Don't look, Danny. Johnny's dead. Wake up, Johnny. Please, please, it's not right. It's not right. He's in a better place. Leave us! Both of you, leave! As far as I'm concerned, you can drop off the earth. That's a promise. Just leave, both of you! Leave him, alright. Let him be with them. Why, Johnny? Why, Johnny? Why? Why? Ooh. Can I haunt them? I'm in a better place. This is just like that Kanye West video game, isn't it? Is that the Big Dipper? The I don't know. Okay, okay, more game. Excellent. So tell me, Johnny, how was your time on Earth? <laughs> this makes a lot of sense. It was an enchanting for a moment, but I've had enough of that world. And Lisa, 
The situation with Lisa was unfortunate. Sadly, we may never understand life. The handsome one, Mark. My best friend. He questioned what a planet you were from. Yes, that is when I knew my time was coming to an end. As all things must. So tell me, Johnny. How many spoons did you find? Oh, no! Looks like you have zero spoons. Unfortunately, that won't be enough to activate the machine. No need to sulk, number 86. This is a time of celebration. Indeed it is! We're all Tommies. Okay, so... I'm willing to bet... Oh, it's a Tom Fulp game, okay. Uh, I'm debating now whether or not... Oh, Oni NG did the music, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm debating whether or not I actually think there were spoons to be found. If you are Tommy Wiseau, we love you very much and hope this makes more people blah blah blah. Next time, press S to skip dialogue. Okay, S to skip dialogue. I'm gonna take advantage of that. Oh god, no doggy, no! Why Tom Fulp, why? Okay, um, yes, I'm gonna play that again though. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna abuse the crap out of that S key. And I'm gonna look for spoons. I'm also gonna beat Mark in that fight. Um, I don't actually expect to find anything, so I'm gonna do the outro here. But if I do find something, I'll tack it on at the end. So, in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I highly encourage you to go see The Room, or at least see the Natasha Critic review. Uh, thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Signature catchphrase. Welcome back. So here's what has happened. I have found all of the spoons, and in the meantime, found completely or partially several other Easter eggs. So we're gonna... Sh I'm gonna talk about those. Um... Where to start? First off, I noticed when you put the, um, recording you made into the record player, or the tape player, there are three slots. So, there are two other recordings you can make. I don't know exactly where you record them from. There's one on this phone. I assume there's one on this phone, and I don't know where the third one is, but, uh, that's that. I mean, um, I haven't done it, so... I don't think it's... I don't know, maybe you record something interesting. I'm kind of curious what it is, but uh, I had to play through this game all over again because discovering spoons um, makes them disappear. So when I start, when I continue the game again, the spoons stay discovered. And I wanted to show you guys exactly where the spoons were. So first spoon I discovered is this spoon. Makes sense, right? Boom. Friggin' kitchen spoon. What a shocker. Eat the cookie. Skip the dialogue, and then we're gonna get rest we're gonna get the rest of the spoons. Um, just going from left to right, I think we're gonna go as far left as we can. Um, and get all the spoons. Do I have to go to work first? No, good. Okay, first spoon, this little dirt spoon right here. What's it called? The rock spoon, right? Of course, the rock spoon. I don't think I'm going to work. Yeah, a little trick of this because we can. You did it. Uh, next spoon. It's not outside. Is it inside? I don't think it's in here. Okay, it's not in here. Uh, there's, um, the other achievements besides the spoons that I'm going to show you, uh, involve once you get full rage and can smash things. Once, if you leave your apartment, there's a whole bunch of cool things that you can do in your raged state. One of them is smashing all of the things. That includes the shopkeepers. Um, I don't know... It's one of the, this little skeleton. The Sinister Spoon. I don't know how to smash all the things. Uh, I smashed most of the things, including the shopkeepers, but I didn't get the achievement for all of them. So I'm not sure what I was missing, but I'll, I will show you guys smashing things because they have some other secrets inherently there. So I didn't show you guys this before, did I? We never went into Mark's room. Interesting fact, if you go into Mark's room earlier, it's a portrait of his face. A very nice portrait of his face. But then after the tuxedo scene, after he shaves, he has preserved his beard. And it's quite the beard. And it's like, sexy ladies, this is a pretty good room. Um, I come in here. Be one, I thought there was something you can record. I don't see anything you can record, though. But two, the fire spoon. Which is pretty sweet. 
Um, oh yes, one other achievement that I didn't do, but uh, basically, if you start this game from the beginning, every day, you should read Danny's notebook. See, we got the last one, but uh, you can read it multiple times and get different tidbits. So, I'm sure that opens some cool stuff. I don't know. Uh, please do it and let me know. I may do it later, but as I've just played through this game twice in one sitting, I'm gonna take a break for now. After getting all these spoons and showing you stuff. Ah, I've got this spoon here. The flower spoon. Oh, we're not full screen. God dang it. The whole point, the whole point of playing through was to make this full screen. Ah, eh, that's fine. I can make it full screen in post. I've got sorcery. So if the if the resolution's off, though, completely blame me for me being an idiot because I don't know how to make it full screen in the middle of playing. I don't want to experiment around and possibly ruin the recording. So we'll soldier on as best we can. The next spoon is here inside the boombox. The AI spoon. How many spoons left? We got four spoons left. There's not literally one every screen, but there's pretty much one every other screen. We got one in the car here. It's the time spoon. We've got one inside the police station. It is the appropriately named shank spoon. We have one here in the park, right? Yes. Or by the park. The wood spoon. Uh, I missed one. I missed one. Oh, no, it's over here. It's right here. Yes. The chlorophyll spoon. So we have all of the spoons. Now, I have not seen the ending where you get all the spoons. So, this will be my first time seeing that, but we're going to be interrupted by our rage. So let's go trigger some rage. R-A-G-E. It's gotta be a song about rage. I mean, other than against the machine stuff. Okay, what do we got? Skip it, party. I don't give a crap about your party. We got this chucklehead being a jerk. What did he use? It looks like he just uses his arm. So I think this gotta be Tom Fulp because he got the P. Don't know who the other guy is. Maybe it's not a P. It's hard to read. Talk to you, blah, blah, blah. We can get the party now. I can go to my home, skip you. I just want to get angry, you guys. I don't want to have to delete out of the party, talk to you, back to the party. And skip, 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 blah, blah, blah. Back, back, back. Oh no, the slapping, fighting, fight, slap, push. Can't skip the shoving, can only skip the talking. I'll go to the river kitchen. Cool my head off a little bit. Uh, so cold, just like the shining. And we're gonna leave it open because we hate the environment. Keep talking. And now we fight. Um, I have successfully beaten Mark. Uh, didn't make any difference at all. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, it kind of really just comes down to getting lucky with the taunts. I mean, obviously you have to hit with the water bottles too. But if you get three taunt water bottles, Mark's done, done for. And so actually the second time I played this through, um, it worked perfectly. Three successful taunts, three successful water bottles. Flawless victory! Not gonna happen now, apparently. Because talking is hard. But like I said, it doesn't really matter if we win or lose. Oh man, she looks even hideouser than you would think. Don't brush it off. Good, good, good. Who's that guy? What a weird looking guy. Okay. Yes, perfect! Just one more or two failures. Maybe I should just go for the two failures. Uh, I'm not gonna do it. Dang it! Should have done it. I should have done it. I'm a fool. But he's going for l these low blows. Come on. Yes. Okay. So at least we get the one damage in for sure. Can we end it? We can end it. Stupid Mark turns to ash somehow. Okay. Oh yeah. Push him over. Forgot about that. I like her. She's pretty. There's a lot. There's a lot more people in the background than I uh, really think about this party. Okay, so I'm the victor. Skip, skip, skip all the things. Skip, skip, skip all the things. 
I didn't record everybody. I wish I had. But I don't know where the third thing is. Please let me know. Is it the cop station? Is it one of the stores? I don't know! Get it back. The spoons make sense, right? I, for a long time, I, I couldn't find the last spoon. Uh, I thought it was in that painting. It is not, obviously. Play this. Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. So we can record things before now. I'm not sure if that means we should just go to... I think, I think you're supposed to go to the, um... Electronic store, like, as early as possible and buy a recorder. And maybe you just plant it in the phone. Maybe the phone's the only place you can rec record from, this one phone. But you can get recording, different recordings from it throughout the game. That seems most likely to me. Okay, smash things, because why not? There's no reason not to smash the things. Maybe we'll smash all the things this time. I don't know. Hmm. Well, not all the smashy things have little, uh... Oh, you know what? You know what? Maybe you're supposed to smash that skeleton before smashing the TV. <coughs> Excuse me. Because if you smash the TV, you can't smash the television. That could be. I don't know. Uh, let's take the gun. I'm curious if you can use the gun on things. I don't think you can. I didn't see anything you could use the gun on. But might as well try it out in a few things. So the first big thing you can do is smash this crack. And you discover the room, the actual room. Oh, hi, Danny. Uh, hey, Johnny. My time on this earth is short, Danny. I'm gonna need you to take care of Lisa when I'm gone. Oh, I'll take care of Lisa, all right. Thank you, Danny. You are more like a son. You are like a friend. <clears throat> Thanks, Johnny. See ya. Yes, that's just creepy. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Nothing to smash that I can see. Oh, yeah, I didn't see you Denny's place, did I? I mean, we went in Denny's place. I mentioned the journal. I neglected to mention that Denny, Danny, <laughs> pees in a bucket and just like, Oh, Lisa is like a mother to Danny. <laughs> uh, he's so oblivious. It's gross. Um, I don't think we can smash anything on the roof. I don't think you can smash anything in Mark's room. Uh, the first really noteworthy thing you can smash after this. Pow, pow, pow. I don't know why we kill her. We can pet the doggy. Nice doggy. I can't be mad at your doggy. Um, no idea why we kill her. Very, very vindictive. But here, get revenge on the bank! It's dark. Poor Johnny. Works so hard, but never gets a raise. Boo-hoo. Everybody hates me, but I don't do anything wrong. Oh, look. It's all that money we never paid you. Ah! You're gonna die here, Johnny. Then I'm gonna fire your dead body, and you can take that to the bank. I'm gonna take you to the bank, Mr. Manager, the blood bank. <laughs> Finally, you have a spine. Maybe I'll give you that promotion if you live. But enough talk. Have at you. And here we have the best fight in the whole game: Johnny vs. Boss. Why is there no music? There we go. Was it? Isn't, it wasn't supposed to be muted. I don't know. And then you have one move: it's eviscerate. Which we do. We just brutally his heart out. And this was it's still the best fight in the game. Pretty freaking awesome. Breaking banking now is not over. This rage music really sets the atmosphere better than I remembered. We have one more excellent fight coming up. Uh, we'll punch you because why not? Uh, hi, Johnny. You didn't like the flowers. I didn't like the flowers. I wanted to break the fire hydrant, but you can't. Nothing up there. Oh wait, right, right. We need to punch the last. The last poor innocent store owner. I don't want any trouble, Johnny. You can still walk out the door. Pat, pat. No. Pat, pat, pat. Okay. Can't smash any of these. I'm just making sure. I wonder if I can shoot them. I bet not. I think you can only shoot yourself. Ah, uh, so they're out of business. They're going to be by Starbucks. Oh, I never liked cheesecake anyway. You out of time, coffee. Now stop right there, Johnny. We don't want to shoot you, but the next move is yours. Cheap, 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 cheap. <laughs> yeah, it's we're basically on full cure at this point. Nothing to smash in there that I can find. Into the park for more smashing. We find this dick. And we pursue 
on all fours, like a feral animal. He's running, he's panicked, but we close in. We have a scent. There is no escape from the Dread Pirate Roberts. Let <laughs> me just eat him and crush him and make it rain. <laughs> so gross. Okay, looks like my bite is worse than his bark. And that is everything I discovered. Nothing to the right that I was aware of. I mean, obviously I could have missed things. But we didn't get to smash all the things, so there are clearly things we haven't smashed. Let me know what they are if you care to. I don't think that... I mean, unlike the, um, the journal and the tapes, I don't know if it's smashing everything to be... to reveal any cool stuff. It's just, you know, for completionist's sake, I am curious. What things did I not smash that I could have smashed? Like vases or whatnot. You get the idea. Nothing in the kitchen I was aware of. And we shall end it so we can go see what the spoon ending is. Skip, skip, skip the dialogue. Ugh. Skipping dialogue. Just take me to space. Just take me to space. Actually, I'm not gonna skip it. I'm just gonna click through it. No, I'll, I'll have skip. Okay, I didn't want to risk skipping the space scene somehow. But it looks like we're good. Okay. Show me what you got, space ending. Actually, when seeing that glowing light fly over a city, that reminds me of the ending of, um, Repo Man. Okay, into the spoon ship. Tell me Johnny has time on Earth, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, Mr. Freeman, blah blah blah. Show me the spoons, show me the spoons. All the spoons. Oh my, is that all ten spoons? Yes, I believe it is. Wonderful, activate the machine. Oh! Oh! Not quite what I expected! Ha 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 made it all worth it! Oh, you men, let's party! And so the same ending from there. Love this song. Okay, so that was everything I discovered. If you would like me to go and do the journals, and the tapes in more detail. Drop a comment and I will gladly do those if I know there's a specific demand for them. But I already gave an outro, so farewell.